Hey guys, don't know about you, but with me, in the event of a power cut, I always end up fumbling through the dark to the fuse cupboard. Trying to reach for some torch that's often gone walkabouts beforehand, because that's what torches tend to do. But here I think I found the solution. So here is the LED sensor light slash torch from the brand Unicom. I've never actually heard about these before, but I was recommended this by my father. This is from an Aldi shop, so you get a good three year warranty. This was only a fiver, so I bought two. Normally the £9.99, but what this acts is a backup light that permanently plugs into the socket, and when the power goes out, it automatically comes on the floodlight at the front. So really handy to have in important locations like in your fuse box cupboard or upstairs where my inverter is kept so then before I switch the generator changeover I can already see that everything is ready to go. So on the back let's see what it's actually claiming to do so simply plug into any 13 amp plug socket and switch on light automatically recharges via safe and convenient induction cradle so that's quite handy it acts like an electric toothbrush motion sensor light the ultra bright 15 led floodlight will automatically turn on and remain on for 20 seconds when movement is detected in the dark and rechargeable torch, the light can be removed from the power cradle and used as a conventional ultra bright 5 LED torch. And safety lights, in the event of a power failure, the most important one for my needs, the ultra bright 15 LED floodlight will automatically turn on. So, unfortunately the packaging comes in one of these stupid secure plastic packaging things. So I've been told that a good trick to get one of these open is actually to use a tin opener. So let's give this tin opener a trick a go. Well that was an actual waste of time, let's get the scissors. Well, first impressions, build quality, it's, it's alright, alright for a fiver, even at a tenner it's alright to be honest. Floodlights have still got some charge in it but I don't like to use things until it's been given a proper full charge so let's get this plugged into the wall. Okay, while I'm here I'm going to explain a UK plug. We've got an earth on the top live pin neutral pin matches up with an actual plug that goes in the earth pins at the top there slightly longer than the other two pins because in this socket is a guard for the live and neutral the guards only lifted up once the pin and the earth is inserted first you've also got these black strips here that protect you as you're plugging a plug in there because that's like a nylon and it's insulated so you can never electrocute yourself by physically pulsing in a plug like that. Just plug this cradle in there. Marry up the torch with the cradle and theoretically when you switch it off the light should come on. Great! You can also take it out of the dock, use it as a light, torch and then when you've finished, put it back into the dock and it's ready for your backup light once again. 